Okay, so uh, f fun fact: you can you can get up here, but there's a um, a barrier here which prevents you from actually going any further. Huh. I think they do that purposely for sake of the story. <laughs> Time to get the car spire the normal way. <laughs> normal way. Yeah, you know, as normal as you can get. But, uh, yeah, I climbed up that wall. I told you this game was broken. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Okay, where's car spire? It's up there. And I know we can just get around over here. Yeah, I think they actually put that wall there to prevent you from going there without progressing this far in the story. <laughs> the, the wow, they yeah, that's actually pretty cool that they actually decided to program that. Welcome to Cards Fire. <laughs> oh, and there's a dragon too. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead. Where did that dragon go? There it is. We can kill you too. Alright. Another dragon down. Yay, five. Yep. Oh, what? Where are you going, dragon? Land, please. I need your goodies. All right, dragon. Okay, you're just gonna ragdoll down the mountain. That's cool, too. <laughs> Give me your sweet soul. Give it. Mm, Gimme. <laughs> there we go. Um, like I said before, legendary dragons you don't get normally in gameplay. You, yeah, you have to have the DLC in order to get legendary dragons. I don't know, they don't look too dangerous. They look just more silly than anything. <laughs> Alright. You're dead. <laughs> You're dead. You know what, I think I'm just going to leave the rest of you to do your business. I'm just going to go into Karth's Fire. Two, good the, those guys are pretty creepy. You know what else is creep creepy? What? Fog. Fog is creepy. But yeah, like, a chorus? Occasionally, in certain dungeons, when you find chorus, you'll find the husks of chorus as well. And they can bust open and those things will break out. So... Yeah. You're dead. You're dead. Oh, you're still attacking some force one. Oh, that other guy was dead. Okay. No, guys, really, leave these to me. I still have hiccups. Ava still has the hiccups. <clears throat> so this is a neat little temple. Something here. Activate pillar. Snake, snake, bird. No, I don't think this is snake, snake, bird. This is snake, snake, snake. This looks promising. Let's keep moving. Yeah. We're starting to look we must like be getting close. We should We've got to get this bridge down. We're best. These pillars must have something to do with it. Yeah, but I have to find the combination of the pillars, and I don't know what they are. Hiccup. <laughs> Symbols. Okay, I don't know what that means. You have the symbol for king and warrior. And of course, the symbol for dragonborn. That's the one that appears to have a sort of arrow shape pointing down. Oh. So looks okay. like you got it without even trying. Yeah. Good job. 
I guess I did. These are traps. I can only step on the ones... I know I can only step on the platforms that are shaped like the Dragonborn. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, they're stepping on the platforms. I'm like, what's activating the traps? <laughs> Dude, I'm not giving a fuck. They're like me. They just don't give a fuck. <laughs> so now I get here. Now that looks like the Chamber of Secrets. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see. Gold, yes, yes, and yes. Let's take everything. It is a giant face. It is a giant face. Uh. Look at that nose. Well Alright, come on, guys. <laughs> I don't have all day. <laughs> Sometimes the NPCs can take a while. Hey, do you want to do me a favor? What? You should bring the bag of gummy bears over here. Oh. <laughs> Stretch. Gummy bears. No doubt. Gummy bears. Haribo gum. Gummy bears. Yep, Haribo gummy bears. <laughs> Activate the blood seal. Yeah. Screw your armor. Yep. So now the giant face is gonna move. Pretty cool. So now we're actually in Skyhaven Temple. Goomy bears. Goomy bears. <laughs> yes, Goomy bears. So this is all really important story stuff that I'm probably just gonna blaze through. <laughs> Another Christmas gift I got, which is in my lap, is ugh, a three pound bag of Haribo gummy bears. You've already eaten over half of it. With help, of course. That is a lot of gummy bears, man. I know. God, my pancreas but... is crying. <laughs> so to any of you who saw, like, the first trailer for Skyrim knows what this wall is. You know, but there's one they fear. Something, something, Dovahkiin, Dragonborn. Who's from Da? <laughs> Where did... Come on, you slow pokes. God, I'm like a kid waiting for his parents to catch up at the fair. <laughs> but come on, come on, we gotta go on all the rides. I'm over here going, come on, come on, we gotta, we gotta go and explore the wall of Alduin. Nom, nom, nom. To sum things up, this wall, this wall is a, um, it's a prophecy showing of the end times. You got dragons, 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 Alduin, dragons, 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 dragonborn. Yes, yes, let's see what we have. Yes, let's, Asburn. As you slowly saunter your way over. Yeah, just do, 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 do. Take your sweet time. Yes, I got a green gummy bear. All right. I love the green gummy bears. Okay. Here, the humans rebel against the dragon of the Lord, the legendary dragon. All his defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, he... So despite that this is kind of the first game, like the first real Elder Scrolls game, that really references dragons, we, uh... We don't really get to hear a lot of, like, this dragon lore in the other games. Mm. <laughs> yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Lord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used to shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Story element. That's important. Yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. <laughs> Remember, 
You know, like, I'll do it. Shut the fuck up and go to sleep. So lay down your tired head and go the fuck to sleep. Records it comes down from the sky. I'll do it! Shut the fuck up! I was afraid. I guess there's nothing. I hope to avoid involving them in this. If they had their way, you do nothing but sit up on their The graybeards are. Think about it. Have they. So. Trust The blades and the graybeards don't like each other. Think of type only if you don't know how to use those that shrank from their destiny. And they're the villains. Those that miss. But if you live in fear of what might go wrong, you'll end up doing nothing. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. We'll look around Sky Talos guard you. So okay. Now I gotta go and learn a new shout. And start at the throat of the world. When that happens, we get to meet the coolest character in the game. Who's that? I'm not gonna say his name. I don't want to spoil it. Fine. Go on, bears. Go on, bears. Well, I'm not gonna say it because it's pretty important to the story. Oh. You know, I don't want to spoil the story or anything. I mean, spoiler alert, we're the Dragonborn. <laughs> Look, this is kind of a thing we are. Okay. I have a red marker. Is there an enemy nearby? Uh, no. Alright. Now I gotta go back to High Rothgar. Good thing I traveled here without the use of going to Iverstead. Right. Sanguine is the Daedric Prince of Hedonism, debauchery, and dark indulgences. Oh my, he sounds like my kind of prince. Sounds like a sax panther. You know, my kind of prince. <laughs> I'll be your sex panther. Alright. That's dirty. I'm sorry you had to hear that. <laughs> what was it? Alec texted me the other day. And he's like, I thought the radio said, um, what was it? Like, blood sugar sex magic. And I thought of you. And I was like, damn right. <laughs> Alright, Arm Gear. Where are you? Come out, come out wherever you are. Honey, I'm home. Home, I'm honey. Sky, where did you learn the rat? Who have you been talking to? My my butt. I've been talking to my butt. The blades, of course. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Look, I'm trying to save the world and shit. I want to be relevant. This shout was used once. But have you considered that up those who overthrew him in ancient time? If the world is meant to end, so be it. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Oh, another shout. And someone else is talking to me. All right. Okay. Forgive me. I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you. <laughs> no. I cannot so, teach it to you. So, he knows about the shout, but he doesn't know the shout himself. Dragon it's called Dragon Run. Its words of power are unknown to us. It's a super powerful but shout. I thought you knew all the words of power. I thought you were awesome. So that's the name of the coolest character in the game, Parthenax. Yep. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Parthenax is an awesome character. You weren't ready, but thanks to the blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Oh, buddy, hey. He lives in seclusion. He's like, this is my chair. And 
we could have gotten to the peak of the mountain already, so we could have probably just fast traveled there. But since we're this far in the story, we're actually going to learn a shout, which lets us get up there easily. Uh. Only those whose voice is strong can find the power. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Well, you All know, right. we should find Parthenax on the next episode. Well, here, hold on, hold on, hold on. We should learn this shout. I feel like it are important. You're important. I feel like this is something that I'm going to need to go f find my way around here. And then go and go outside and learn the shout. I think that's where we're going. Because these people can't just be left off with this. They need to see the shout. <laughs> All right. I'm going to go out to yonder courtyard. I'm going to wait for an hour. I'm probably going to get shouted to death again. Oh, hello. So, you know how I said that you can level up your restoration by standing in that fog? Uh-huh. Yeah? We're... We're going to, uh, clear it now. Words of shop for a clear skies. Something like clear spring and summer. This is your final gift from us, Use it well. Yep. So the only thing that they can do he now. He's scrunchie in his beard. He does. Yeah, that or he just took his beard and tied it in a knot. Why would you do that when you can have a scrunchie? I don't know. There we go. You know, stay focused on your goal. You know, don't forget to write. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, now we can end the episode. Alright. So we're going to clear the skies and go up to the throat of the world in the next exciting episode of Get Equipped With Gaming. Bye, guys. Take care, you pretty people.